Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another video back because we're going to be going over. I don't know exactly what to call this. I don't know what I'm going to name this video, but this is talking about like how to make your prisoners happy and how to make sure none of them ever escape. Because right now I have 44 that are able to escape right now um, and I'm making hundreds of thousands of dollars, which is, of course, as you can see, that I've gotten a lot better. And honestly, my prison's not that big for being able to have 44 because I know the right things to keep them in. So. Let's just kind of walk out here. Let's collect my money on my money fountain. This is what I have so far, and I'm going to go by piece by piece. But first, I want to talk about, like, the chefs and, the uh, like, this stuff. So, sometimes you'll see customers, and they'll say stuff like, food rations are too small. Um, this means that you must either add uh, more tables here because there isn't enough. Each table can fit four people, so make sure that you have four. So right now I have... Uh, 15 tables each can hit four so I need at least 11 but I have 15 so I have plenty of enough tables for everyone so none of them complain about that so none of them want to escape that complain about the tables um, they also might need uh, that but like a more buffet which each can have 12 customers which I only need really like two two oh three or whatever I really only need three but I actually have four making it so I I have plenty enough so they never want to complain about that, which means they never want to escape. And then I also have enough chefs. Each chef can fit 15 people, aka you want one chef per 15 people, like you want 12 people per ever, you want one buffet for every 12 people. So I have like four chefs, even though I really don't need that many, but I have plenty enough so they don't complain. So I never get that complaint. And then if they don't complain, they don't escape. They're happy, they stay in, and they don't try to dig out or anything like that. And you can continue making money in AFK and saves a ton of time um sometimes they will say uh so, um, some can't do sports or there is no sport equipment that means there is not enough treadmill or work at things i have a lot because i have 44 people here um there's like so many but there's more than 44 here clearly but most of them get taken up but i do have a, some extra um what i suggest is having enough to fit all of your prisoners and add a couple more just because that will probably because they might still complain even though there's still some open which will make sure it's pretty much they will never complain which means they'll never dig out also complaints saying eat tables and buffets are not optional which just means you know add more tables or add more buffets that's just another thing they'll say um so some little other things that you want is same amount of beds for every so like person so i have 44 beds through here through here and like through this part here so that's why i can have 44 people um um so let's just say so the max is 85 people okay so i have a max prison okay i have 85 i have that means i have 43 bunk beds or just 85 beds in total that means i only actually need about half the total it's 43 but you guys could add more it doesn't really matter i would add a little bit more just to you know make sure just but you really don't have to add a lot because they really don't use that that often but showers though because there's a designated time for showers you at least need i need 44 showers but i'd still you know add a couple more just so that, you know don't complain or whatever like that so i have plenty enough i have probably like 50 showers or something like that uh just so they have you know plenty of time like there's plenty of them so no person has to you know get like oh no there's no space even though there's clear space because that's just what they do because people are picky because this is definitely real life yes uh the toilet things doesn't really matter with buffets like i've said uh they can fit like 12 people for everything then of course tables for that for you know four each um Add some trash cans. Best place to place them is like next to around like the tables. So around here you can see I've placed plenty of trash cans, which would be pretty good. Um, so some other necessary things is like I said, plenty of sports equipment. Um, but what I would try to add, well, you can actually use these chairs and sofas and stuff instead of the picnic tables. Actually, apparently, um, make sure you got plenty of phones like. I have plenty of here you don't need a ton but if you have like 85 people i'd try to add like 30 40 phones just plenty of them because they really like to call their parents friends whatever and make sure you have just soda machines i'd have just a couple just scattered randomly throughout like i have one here um i should put one in that area but i have like two there one there i think i have one in there i've just been kind of you know just scattered everywhere which makes it so they stay happy of course um stuff like that 
Um, each, uh, the, you know, staff, the, the chefs, they need at least one sink, one fridge, and one, like, little, uh, oven. I forgot you can't go through that way. They need at least one of each of them, so I got, like, plenty of sinks. I think I got four sinks for four of them. I got, like, four ovens somewhere. And I got four fridges, each for one of them. So they're each able to, you know, work fine and everything in that is just heavy and dandy and stuff like that. So that's really it. Pretty much what you just need to know is you just have to have a lot. Just pretty much uh, make their needs and look out for what they're saying. Um, because you won't, because they won't, if they're happy, they won't be digging out. So no need to ever have repair, the new like repair bins. Um, make sure you have plenty of guards, what you're gonna need. Um, like, so, with, like, if you have 85 people, uh, I've heard that you should have, like, 17 to 20-ish guards, um, just because, one, they'll help if it does riot, which, I came back earlier today, and I ended up going from, like, 44 to 23 after, like, not being on my computer for, like, three hours, three and a half, four, almost four hours, which I guess is better, and I wasn't losing money still, but, um, so yeah, also a really great game pass is this earning boost. For 75 Robux, you can get a 1.5 times multiplier. That is incredible. So that means if instead of $100, you'd be getting 150 That is just ridiculous. For such a cheap game pass, I do highly suggest getting it. That's just a little thing. I thought it was just a Robux thing that would give you like a boost for like 20, 30 minutes or something like that. But no. And the money fountain's okay. Like, yeah, you can rack up a lot of money, but you kind of have to, you know, be here. And if you're one of those people that, you know, like to AFK, okay, not really going to work that well. Um... None of these like security stuff really work, but I'll like make a video when it actually happens, go over that stuff probably because I'm enjoying this game a lot. And I'm gonna be making a video spending all 100,000, well by then it's gonna be like 150,000 and I'm gonna buy all the land and then I'm gonna like make a huge place with all the money I got and it's just gonna be spectacular and I'm just gonna have tons of fun. So make sure you guys have that notification on so you get notified when that comes out. Make sure you guys do hit the like button so, more, so this gets suggested to more people so more people can learn the secrets to this game because you don't want people you know escaping from others and you know busting your own prisoners out of your own because they're free and they want to bust their buddies who are in your prison because they're free and the others so you must like the video so that doesn't happen so you don't end up losing them because that's totally how it works guys also subscribe if you want to you don't really have to i don't really care but yeah but, uh, that's really it um sorry for my silly mood sometimes i'm tired it's been a long week for me and school's about to start, so pain. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and peace out, guys. Oh, I just want to add um, one guard for every five customers. Sorry, I forgot to add that. So that's what you should pretty much do. Yeah, not bye.